welcome back to my channel. It's Jasmine. For those who are new, I'm a casual reseller on the US and Canadian Poshmark app as well as eBay. Today is part two where I share my sales on Poshmark Canada and eBay for the month of September. If you didn't see part one, I'll link it above where I shared my sales on Poshmark US. If you like reselling content like this, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. So I'm gonna start off with my sales on eBay. My first piece were these Vivian Westwood Vans. Vivian Westwood is um, a designer. I'm not really familiar with her pieces, but this was a full price sale of $120 and actually sold to a buyer from Australia. So if you don't already, I would recommend that you turn on international shipping because I do make a few sales that, um, that I have to ship to either Europe or other places in the world. Because it's football season right now, I have been selling a lot of jerseys. This was a CFL Hamilton Tiger Cats jersey. This also sold full price for $70 US. This is another football jersey, but this is NFL. This was a Robert Griffin jersey. It was branding with tags, but it sold for an offer of $40. These are a pair of Zara really wide leg pants. They weren't getting that much attention on Poshmark Canada and US, so I had them cross-listed on eBay, and I received an offer for, I think, $30, which I accepted. So with shipping, um, the sale brought in $40. The last sale on eBay was another football item. This was a Green Bay Packers, just a t-shirt, and this sold for a total of $33 US. Now onto my sales for Poshmark Canada. I had a total of $1,053 in sales this month. My first sale was this mech gray jacket. Mech was a Canadian brand, but I think they were recently bought out by an American company. I believe I had it listed for $40 and I sent an offer to Likers for $33 with discounted shipping, which somebody accepted, and this took 136 days to sell. This is an Aritzia TNA. It's called the St. Moritz Parka Jacket. This was in excellent condition. Um, I had it listed for, I think, $125. Received an offer of $100, which I accepted. And it sold after 201 days. These are a pair of Gymshark leggings. They were brand new with tags. Um, it's called the Illumination Legging. They were really high-waisted and this really bold pink color. This took 210 days to sell and it sold to an offer of $75. This I had picked up from a Goodwill trip. This was that J. Crew quilted vest. It does have some duck filling to it. I had it listed for around $45 to $50, sent an offer to Liker $40 with discounted shipping, which somebody accepted, and this took 30 days to sell. This is a Lululemon. It's called the And Go Everywhere Long Sleeve. It didn't have a size, so I just provided the measurements, and this sold for an offer of $40, and it took 164 days to sell. This I actually featured in my first Goodwill thrift trip, I believe. This was that Kate Spade black dress. It's like a cocktail dress, flares out, has pockets, has this really beautiful, like embellished, um, like sewn details to the front with a zip up back. This I had listed relatively high, I think maybe $100 on Poshmark Canada, but I received an offer of $65. We went back and forth for a really long time and this took just two days to sell. These are a pair of American Eagle curvy high rise shorts. Um, these I also picked up from Goodwill. This was a larger size, of, I think it was a size 12. And this sold for, I believe I sent an offer of $30 with discounted shipping, which somebody accepted. And this also took just two days to sell. This is the brand NBD, which is sold at Revolve. It was this really nice, um, I guess like burgundy color jumpsuit with a really crisscross open back. This had no size, so I just had to provide the measurements. I just took pictures of my measurements just so that there's no discrepancy if somebody decides to open a case saying that the measurements were wrong. This sold for an offer of $80, which I accepted, and this took 93 days to sell. This is a Barber white dress shirt. This was also a Goodwill um, pickup. This sold in two days, which I was really surprised because I was kind of regretting picking it up because it's so plain. But because it's like that business casual style, um, this sold for an offer of $35, which I accepted. This is an Aritzia Wilfred Free sweater dress. Um, this sold for an offer of $25. I was kind of hoping for a little bit more. I showed this in, I think, a Value Village haul but I think I paid too much for it. I was just happy to receive the offer of $25 and this took 61 days to sell. This is called the Lululemon Rapid Sweater. It was in excellent condition, has a cashmere blend to it. I had it listed for $100, I think. Received an offer of 85, which I accepted and this took 124 days to sell. These are a pair of Everlane high-waisted cropped pants. I don't know the exact style name because the care tag was cut out, 
I just provided measurements um, and just listed it as it was. And this sold for an offer of $45 and it took 59 days to sell. This was also a pickup from Goodwill. This was a Wilfred Velvet, it's called the Georgia Crop Top. These I had listed, I think for 35, received an offer of $25, which I accepted, and this took just a week to sell. These are a pair of Spanx faux leather leggings. This was a small size, extra small, but they're in excellent condition. I had it listed for maybe, I think 85, received an offer of $75, which I accepted, and this took just 10 days to sell. This is a COS or cause white blouse with a tie back. Again, when I was listing it, I was kind of regretting picking it up as well. It kind of looks really plain at the front with that just minor um, detailing to the back, but I received an offer of 30, which I accepted, and this actually took 10 days to sell. These are a pair of Madewell mom jeans. This was a retail arbitrage pickup. I had it listed for $95 and somebody bought it straight up for $95. And this I had listed for a really long time. I just wasn't getting the price that I wanted to get because I had paid up for them for being retail arbitrage. And this took 191 days to sell. These are a pair of North Face leggings that I had thrifted, but they were brand new with tags. They were called the Pulse Tight. And I had it listed for, I think 50, received an offer of $35, which I accepted. And these took 86 days to sell. This was a Massimo Duty utility jacket. I had originally thought that this brand was really expensive. Um, but they do sell this brand at Winners, so I think that kind of deters the value a little bit. But this sold full price for $65, and this took 220 days to sell. So I was really happy with the full price sale. And I guess because it's a more fall piece, I just listed it in the wrong months, which was fine. Um, but I was just glad with the full price sale. This is a Nua Tags White House Black Market Blazer. I don't pick up this brand anymore. I think I had originally picked this up because it was brand new with tags and the retail value is so high, but I had it listed pretty high actually, probably too high, around I think $75, but I received an offer of 50. I was just glad to see an offer on this item. It had been listed for 153 days, so I was really glad to see this go. The last item that I sold for the month of September was this Woolrich Trout Run Long Sleeve. This was my husband's that he no longer wore, so I was glad to see any kind of sale for this item. And this actually sold straight up for $25, which was my listing price. This took 271 days to sell. So that concludes all my sales for the month of September for Poshmark Canada as well as eBay. It was kind of slow at the beginning, picked up in the middle of September and slowed down again. And right now Poshmark Canada is really dead for me for October. I think I've only made maybe one or two sales so far, but um, Poshmark US is still pretty active. Um, again, I've kind of slacked on listing the past few days, but I'm gonna try to pick it up again, um, go thrifting a little bit more because I haven't gone thrifting for a while. Um, so I'm hoping that I can go thrifting to list more items that I'm actually maybe excited to list because I have a bunch of old inventory that I don't really want to list and I regret buying, but that's a whole other story. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.